Is change healthy for you? Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. Well, we've created for you access to over 503 free Life's Inside Track episodes where we share insider tips. We actually even help you make your home better space for you and build finances. Just in general, you can get access to them from the home, the office, on the go, pretty much anywhere. And so the answer to your question, Ken. Yeah. Hmm. It is. Can is change be, healthy? Is change healthy? It can be if done right at the right time. Mm. So in this episode, what you'll learn is really how to determine if it's the right time or the right situation for you to make a change in your address. And the reason we're highlighting that is because... Over the last 32 years of helping families navigate change, what we've observed is sometimes when friends are making a move, people get the bug to make the move, and it's the wrong time. It just creates chaos. Just the other day, I had somebody call me, and he was saying, you know, I've been introduced to you from a client that's yours, that's a great friend of mine and yours, and I want to make a move. And I said, oh, tell me a little bit more about that. And he went on to share about a major health challenge that he's having, and he no longer enjoys where he's living. And all I could think was, are you sure? Are you like really sure that in the middle of a major health crisis, it's the right time to make a move? Well, I hate where I live. Okay, well, how long have you lived there? Like, if you hate it, it must have been a short move or like you've just gotten there and it just didn't work for you and somebody sold you something you shouldn't have bought or that's what's running through my head. And he goes, oh, I've been here 30 years. (laughs) And my heart hurt for him. A little slow to decide if it's the wrong house or not. Or well, location. Yeah, but I don't think that's what it is. I when we're going through sick. duress mm-hmm. in one area of our life, sometimes we can get dissatisfied with the rest of our life. And although it's not my decision to make, it is my position or my place to ask some good, solid questions. Yeah, because it's interesting, right? They say that moving mm-hmm. is like the third biggest stressor that people can have in their life. Right. And so adding that to an already really stressful situation, unless it's paramount. Now, take another client that called and said, you know, I need to make a move because the finances are upside down. We're getting worse every month and the bank is going to end up taking our house away. We, mm. we, we've had a lot of changes due to the current season and situation. And so now the income we had, we don't have. And the decisions we made were fantastic for them. They're not great for today. Well, in that case, it's kind of like, well, the sooner we can make that move, the better. And let's do certain things to make sure we're doing it right. Yeah. And that's a good point. They said that the bank may start to take it. It's interesting. I was talking to one of our agents. Mm Mm-hmm. And he does a lot of power of sale business with the banks. And there are 75 files waiting to go to court. And the banks were just waiting for COVID to settle down a bit because it looked really bad to kick someone out of their home Mm -hmm. during COVID if maybe they lost their job or whatever. But he's got, that's like four times the normal amount of files that are going into court now to have those people removed from their home and sell it under power of sale. So if if COVID has caused some struggles and you're not mm. making your payments, you're way, way further ahead cost-wise and benefit-wise to sell it, make a move before you're forced to move. Well, and because when you're forced to move, now all of a sudden the home doesn't get the preparation it needs. It doesn't get the photos of the presentation. It doesn't get the marketing it needs. It doesn't get the negotiating backing that it requires or that actually you require Mm. that you will benefit from. And so when you can take control of what is a really hard situation in advance of it controlling you, It's just, uh, although they're hard moves, we don't love those moves. And yet I do love it. What I said to one of my clients just the other day was, although this is a really hard situation that you're in and 
it's awful. It is so wonderful. And I'm so grateful that I get to be the one navigating it with you. That I get to be here coming alongside you because I know I'm going to do the utmost for mm. you that I possibly can. And she just looked back yeah. at me and said, that's what we think too. Like we're thrilled that we don't have to go it with somebody that doesn't already trust us and know us and be part of our lives. Yeah, that's beautiful. And you know what? Sometimes it's spontaneous. <laughs> spontaneous like combustion. combustion. <laughs> yeah, it's like they walk into an open house or a builder's model and suddenly they're just smitten with the nice decorating, with the, the upgrades, the clean. The clean the, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no clutter. Fingerprints on stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. The reason they love it is all their stuff's not in that house. It's got all brand new furniture and it just looks great. So you can get that desire for something new. That is okay. Because what it actually does is it detaches you from your existing property because it's even if you should be moving, it's difficult to mm. decide to move when you don't have somewhere else to move to. Oh, that's one of the challenges in this market, right? Because there's on average, depending on where you are and what type of house and price range, but there's really been for the last many, many months, about one month of inventory available at any one time. Well, sometimes it's been one week. I know, but for the most part, it's been one, <laughs> 1 1.2, 1.5, depending on the price range. And sometimes it's been a week of inventory. So there's been little inventory available at any one given moment. Which even and if it's the right time to move, makes it difficult to move. Mm -hmm. But we navigate that. And we help people find the right property before they sell their home. So they're not homeless. That's com more common today than it has been in the past, right? Mm -hmm. And yet that's not right for everybody. There is not a one-size-fits-all strategy or solution for making a move the right way or at the right time. Right. So some of the reasons that somebody may, it may be the right thing in the right time mm -hmm. to move, uh, too much maintenance, too much land, too little land. What else? Well, too much commute or not enough space because you're not commuting anymore, like inside or outside. Okay. So too large a house, you know, maybe people have moved out. Mm. Maybe it's too small. Maybe the kids have moved back because they lost their jobs due to COVID. Or they're or not in university anymore. And so you thought you were empty nesters and now there's four <laughs> university students that are back living in your space. Uh, yes, because they're doing, they're doing courses online mm -hmm. instead of in person. Mm -hmm. Those things. Major life changes over the last two years for many, many people. Many, many, many. And so if you're thinking... You guys have just created some awesome confusion for me. <laughs> now I have more That's questions. Perfect. I thought I had answers. I thought I was clear. And now it is clear as mud. So if you're thinking, I need to put a fing my finger on this promptly, what we will gladly do for you is an online free consultation where we have a discussion, ask you some questions that maybe we haven't asked today, and just identify whether it is right or not quite the right time. Yeah, for sure. And that's free, no obligation. We yeah. love to just sit down with you either in person or online, whatever your comfort level is. Mm -hmm. So we just want to say thanks for the privilege of allowing us to grow alongside of you because we're passionate about helping families both in their homes and their lives and their businesses. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward with the